Chakax. Hey, hey! Well, I'll be damned. I never thought this guy would be in town. Yes? Do you know him? No. No, it's not like that. Look, read this. If this is true, this guy's father is the former prime minister. Hmm. I bet those brats just made that up. Jeez. You two don't remember. There really was a prime minister named T Toranosuke Ishimaru. He was a genius, but didn't do well in school. Despite that, he became the prime minister. But... But in the end, a scandal ruined him. Probably smothered by his own talent. I see. Though that could be why he was such an uptight idiot. No. But the problem is Takaki Ikshimaru. I heard a little about him too. There's a big stir about him being a cop after his dad got caught. Folks wanted him fired. And now to top it all off, he gets caught up in this hunt. How unlucky can one guy be? I hope he's safe at least. I feel for him, even if he is 5-0. But that's neither here nor there. Leave it to me. Toa Science Memorial, huh? Alright, I'll send rescue guys over right away. Correct. I'll leave it to you. I'm sure he's afraid, being all by himself. It's gonna be alright. Leave it to me. I'd give him the shirt off my back if he wanted. And with my charm. Oh, damn. This girl's a super hottie. <laughs> I admire girls like her. She looks like a manga heroine. <sighs> G girls with faces like that are cheating. They're just piling on the makeup. A hundred out of a hundred of them do that. And it's been that way for a hundred years. But in this file, it says she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. Don't mess with me. The, the, the kids are probably just lying. They, they can't tell anyway. Hmm? Why do you care if she wears makeup? She's cute. Isn't that enough? <sighs> I, I hate girls who look like her. As an ugly girl, it frustrates me when I see girls covering up with makeup. If you're ugly, be proud of it, damn it. That's the ugly girl way. Be proud. It's gonna be alright. Oh, come on, Toko. You can't let that bother you. There's more to a woman than her face. What's going on? Th that's not encouraging at all. I bet if this girl were a team manager, those guys would really be pumped up to win. What kind of idiot would try hard at sports just to impress some hot girl? Hmm. Actually, I know one. Hmm. Hmm. An acquaintance of yours? Nothing. No, not really. Who cares? Huh. Well, high school boys are like that. They can live a whole month on nothing more than porn, fried chicken, and manga. Could it be? So, does Makoto also? Yeah. No doubt about it. It's true of every high school boy in the whole damn world. But back to the point. Looks like her hunting grounds are unknown. Leave it to me. I'll help you out. I'll convince some of the adults here to help look for her. C convince Looks like adults aren't any different than high schoolers sometimes. <laughs> Alright, that's the only one I have left. Why, hello there. You must be new. I hope we get along well together. <laughs> Adult C. Really, ABC? <laughs> yeah, same here. Is now really the time for friendly greetings? Stuffed inside this dust-covered hole? Oh, Toko, you are not making friends. Well, there's nowhere else to go. You guys saw how terrible they are, right? To actually kill people for fun. They're all insane. I hate them. Even if they're kids, if they pushed me... You what? You're just sitting around waiting for an opportunity to fight back? Is that it? No! It'd be reckless to attack now. They have an army of Monokumas. We couldn't win. Yeah, so just as I thought. You're all talk. I figured. 
What's with you guys? If you're just here to offend people, then goodbye. Hm. Just looking at those kinds of people frustrate me. They're just giving up. But that's probably because it can't be helped. It can't be helped? Why? They know how powerless they are. The only thing they can do is admit they can't do anything. And that's why we're all cooped up inside this dust-covered dungeon. I mean, this place is really dusty. I, I might just sneeze. N no, don't! Hold it in! It's okay. I got it. I got it. That was close. <laughs> what a relief. So, everyone here is so nice, there's nothing to worry about, right? If these irritating cowards are nice people, <laughs> this world must not be made up of bad people. <laughs> and that stranger danger warning would no longer be needed. Wow, such an amazing world. That's the epitome of my ideal. I was being sarcastic. Well then, it's about time we went back to the important stuff. This place is used as a conference room, so let's talk inside. Here, come in. Huh? He's not here. He's usually here though. Who's not here? The leader of the resistance. I wanted to introduce you guys to him. <laughs> Was it like the black bear? Can you wait here a little while? I'm sure he'll be back soon. Leader? He's probably some old geezer who thinks he can run the show. I won't hold my breath. What kind of leader would a pitiful place like this even have? Definitely a useless old man. If he really is a superior man, he would be in a superior organization. Just like Master. And you shouldn't have high expectations either, Omaru. Expectations? What kind of expectations? Ooh, quick fire skill. Shirakuma brought in three new people. I feel happy, but at the same time scared. I wonder how many adults are killed above ground. How many of them got saved? How many bodies are lying there? Thanks to the newbie screaming, sleepless nights continue. From what I can tell, in his dream, his friend gets killed by kids, and he screams out. I can kind of understand how he feels. I can't blame him. The newbie finally broke. Even though he's a grown adult, he ended up acting like a newborn baby. He lost against his nightmares to the kids. Looking at the scenery forces me to realize that, even though I'm here, I couldn't run. Every time a newbie is brought in, my despair increases. I can't ever run, nor forget. The children will kill us all. This is pretty... intense. Just reading it makes me dizzy. Everyone is dead. Everyone got killed. The sound of the chanting, the screaming like dogs being choked, never leaves my ears. Everyone got killed. Everyone got killed. Devils. They're devils in the bodies of children. Damn devils. Damn devils. Damn devils. Damn devils. Damn devils. I want to grind your own your organs, your heart, liver, your kidneys, everything into dust. I want to throw you all into a blender and turn you into sloshy livestock feed. I want to stab your eyeballs with a pencil until I can write with your blood. I want to boil you alive in a pressure cooker until your screams stop. I want to squeeze your little bodies until blood leaks from every pore of your skin. I want to slash open the wounds of your mothers that birthed... I want to slash open the wombs of the mothers that birthed you and stuff you back in. The writing's really sloppy after this. I can't read it. That's quite a poetic style they have there. That's one way of putting it?
list of victims. Names of the dead are listed here. List of missing. Names of the missing are listed here. The victims and the missing are divided into two lists. They're both pretty long. It's not even murder at this point. This is war. The kids call it revolution. That's just semantics. Exactly. Call it whatever name you please. In the end, there's still a mountain of bodies. But by calling it a revolution, they justify it in their minds and become even more brutal. By how you're talking, you seem to know these brats pretty well. You're talking about the Warriors of Hope who lead the Monokuma kids, right? But... I, I'm, I'm starting to think, like, the Monokuma kids, their helmets or whatever are making them do these things. Obviously, the ones that aren't wearing helmets that are being crazy are, are, are another story. Well, not, I shouldn't call them being crazy. Because they are all crazy. <laughs> but I'm, I'm thinking, like, only the kids without the helmets are the ones that are actually abused to the point that they're doing this of their own will. And I'm guessing the ones wearing the helmets are... Maybe they're, like, some sort of mind-controlling helmet. From what I know... They were apparently students of an elementary school affiliated with Hope's Peak. Hope's Peak Academy? Why would that name come up now? What about it? Did something happen before? Not just something. But forget about it for now. It's a very long story. But more on the subject, I never expected the Academy to also have an elementary. They're not technically affiliated. Attending Hope's Peak Academy still requires being scouted, but the elementary was still prestigious. Many Hope's Peak Academy students came from there. The elementary studied the talents of children. Only child prodigies could attend. And how exactly are they prodigies? They're just a bunch of mental brats. I guess that just shows that having a great mind does not always make a great person. Or a child. A child's talent can easily be corrupted into something evil. Those five are the worst example. Actually, the warriors of hope were all in the classroom with the trouble children. Troublemakers, huh? Just as I thought. They were all deviants from the start. It might be more accurate to say that they own talent not even the teachers could control. And what makes it more horrifying is that they're still kids. They kill without guilt or mercy. You remember what you were like when you were children? How many cruel things you did? Insane because they're too pure. Uncontrollable because they're too innocent. Children with more potential than adults. With such cruel natures. Yeah. Children can be some of the cruelest because they don't quite understand what they're doing. It would be if they were truly out of control. Toa City is an example of that. I, uh, I still remember like two houses, or was it three houses away from where I grew up? Uh, there were these three boys that liked to, they liked to harm small animals, and they used to joke about killing my cat. And when my cat went missing, they kept telling me how they killed my cat and told me all the stuff that they did to my cat. And I was, I was so distraught. I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep after that. Um, and then they, they kind of said some other things that were just, I, I just, I, to, to this day, I, I think to myself, like, they were the epitome of, like, super creepy. Um... I'm sure, and I hope that they grew up to be not like that anymore. Uh, learn from their mistakes. But I remember, like, trying to complain to people and their parents just kept telling me how, like, good their boys were and how they would never have said or done those things. And I was just like, but they did. And no one ever listened to me when I said that. Ugh. 
you. You think it's fun to threaten us? It's not like that. I'm just trying to tell you to be careful. Hm. That's none of your business. Yo, Shirakuma. I heard you were looking for me. Ah, hi, G. I heard you went outside again without my permission. Didn't I tell you it's dangerous? So, two more newcomers? Name's Haiji Toa. I'm the leader of the resistance here. What a surprise. He's pretty handsome. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, Toko Fukawa. I hope we get along well. That sounds like that sounds exactly like Matthew Mercer. I would I would bet all of my knowledge on voice acting that it's him. Um also, he said his last name was Toa? I'm Kamara Naegi. Uh, um, so, a girl who's filthy and a girl who's clean. Which one do you prefer? Um, if your last name is Toa, does that mean that you are- Yeah. Yeah, I'm from the Toa family. Haiji's father is a chairman of Toa Group. Then you're a son of a distinguished family? And the Toa group, too. You must be very... <laughs> ah, I'm getting a little hot from all this excitement. I don't mind if you help me cool. Got it. Leave it to my special cooling device. I, I didn't ask you. Well, I'll tell you right now, I don't have status or money or anything. Those kids took it. Thanks to them, I lost everything. Toa group. Even the whole damn Toa city. Uh, by the way, uh, do you happen to know who's uh, leading the children? Who knows? Then, do you maybe know why Toa City became a target? Sorry, I don't really know much about Toa's situation. Didn't really do anything there. And the one who would have all the answers, my dad, he's been missing since the riots. That's suspicious. Missing? I I'm the same. I don't know where my parents are either. So I... I want to go home no matter what. Please, tell me how to get out of this city. Well, if there is a way to escape, I'd love to know. Hmm? Huh? All the roads that connect to the outside are blocked completely. And it wouldn't matter anyway. That wristband. Those kids put it on you, right? I, I know it will explode if I try to leave, but... Does anyone know how to take it off or something? N no I want to help, but I'm sorry. It's just not possible. However, no need to get too down about that. At least this place is safe. Those brats don't even know this place exists. Y you're telling us just to hide here? It's not like you can escape anyway. Staying put and keeping quiet is the best move right now. You're... you're right. At least as long as I'm here, there's no need to worry. Why don't you fight? Hmm? Isn't this a resistance? An organization created to fight these little brats, right? You know what I realized that Toko is really like, except she's definitely more mouthy? She's, she actually behaves a lot like Makoto in a sense. Just like way more, way more mouthy and, and moody, but um, Makoto was always like all about fighting and, and um, yeah, it, I'm guessing that's the sign that Makoto really rubbed off onto her. Then why don't you just fight? Fight? That'd be suicide. We See this arm? Your arm? Did Amonokuma do it? Yeah. Got crushed. Crumbled up like paper. The whole thing only took a split second. And those brats were... laughing. Like it was fun to them. While I was screaming, bleeding. They're not kids. Not anymore. They're devils. Devils? 
Ugh. Well, the bright side is, even my nerve endings were crushed, so I don't even feel the pain. Of course, that just means it'll never fully heal. So, basically, your will got shattered along with that arm of yours, right? <laughs> Toko really turned on him. Huh? Real quick. And that's why you're sitting here, moping and pitying yourself, right? What the? You sure got harsh. Th th that nice girl act was just for your benefit. I got information now, using my womanly charm. Huh? And... Act. Right? It's pretty convincing. <laughs> no, she really did. Uh, of course. I belong to Master Biakia only. There's no way I'd give my heart to some mole of a man hiding underground like a coward. It's not like I'm going to hide forever. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity to strike. Excuses. Save them for your psychiatrist. What's the point of fighting back knowing that you die? It's all for nothing if you're dead. The way you are now, you might as well be. Toko, that's too far! I'm saying it to you too. Huh? Weren't you going to fight against those brats? What are you doing sympathizing with these people? Yeah, okay. Maybe you are just an average, common, ordinary character with no special talents. A drab girl who lacks presence and charm with no athletic or intellectual skills. <laughs> but what's wrong with that? Someone who just keeps making excuses and doesn't even try to fight back? You're worse than dead. Totally worthless. Wh why are you being so cruel? <sighs> Cause, I don't know, because she doesn't have the the same sort of motivational talking that Makoto has, and this is just her way of handling it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, hey now, I'm sure Toko didn't mean it like that. Oh, yes I did. <laughs> I was like, she definitely did. Just looking at you frustrates me. You remind me of myself in the past. <laughs> no matter how much pain or despair you feel, nothing will change if you keep denying it. So why don't you just try to change it yourself? No matter how scary the situation was, he faced it head on and moved forward. Thanks to that, I'm alive today. W what are you talking about? Rushing forward at full speed with no hope of success isn't courage. It's stupidity. Who who's stupid? Well, do you have a plan? Do you know of some way to get out of here? Do you know how to remove a wristband? Y yeah of course. Uh, I I'm sure Future Foundation technology can get it off easily. Huh? Ah, uh, I was just saying. It's not like we can contact Future Foundation anyway. Wait, hold on. What did you just say about Future Foundation? Don't tell me you're just gonna leave it up to those guys. W what do you mean? Uh, um, Toko is a member of Future Foundation. What? What did you say? If that's the case, then I'm sorry, but get the fuck out of here. I refuse to cooperate with you. What uh, the? Hey! What happened? Why did he get angry all of a sudden? That's a freaking good question. Let's go. He told us to get out. We can't stay here. Y you're right, but... I wonder what happened with Haiji. He totally lost his composure back there. That's an understatement. What is that? S someone help! That's my wife! Please, calm down. Oh, the uh, first one was adult D, and now this is E? F? I can't. Yes! I can't just stay calm looking at this! This is a trap! They're just trying to flush us out! Why fall for their cheap tricks? H? Did something happen? Come on. It might be better if you guys didn't look. Huh? Why? 
Just because the adults managed to make their way here, it doesn't mean they're saved. As long as we're helpless against the children, there will be no future for the adults here. But there's no need for you guys to worry about that. I'm sure you're already troubled enough. Then I won't think about it. Who won't do any good anyway. And sorry about earlier. I never thought Haiji would react like that. It seems as if he hates Future Foundation. <laughs> who cares? I'm not interested in those who are beneath me. Anyway, the exit's over there, right? Huh? Leaving already? You should at least stay the night. If I had to spend a night in this dump, oh, I, I would rather leap into the arms of a Monokuma. Aren't you being a bit too dramatic? <laughs> They're probably planning to attack us while we sleep. Or, or take funny pictures of our sleepy faces. Oh no, a sleeping face shot would be bad. But it's already nighttime, and underground, it's going to be even darker. Huh? D dark already? I guess I've got no choice. If you insist, just for one night. <laughs> See, this place is a private room. It's usually used for the injured and sick. Private room? No matter what you call it, this is a prison cell. No, it's not. It just looks like one, but it's not. Well, this is the only place there is, so we got no choice. Um, about what you mentioned before, are you really a member of Future Foundation, Toko? So what if I am? And if you make contact with them, they will come and save us? Well, yeah, but reaching them is the problem. It's true that it will be difficult, but it's not impossible. I'd like you to have this. What is that? A laptop? This is... It's the newest wireless device Togami Group developed. It can send audio and video. It wasn't available to the public, but groups like the police and Future Foundation use it. Where'd you get it from? So, if we use this... We can call Future Foundation? Really? We can? No, it's not that easy. Because of the jamming. Jamming? Like raspberry? <laughs> he means radio interference. Thanks to the signal jamming everywhere in Toa, this device can't be used in town. Then why give it to us? You want us to throw it away for you or something? No, it's not that. The jamming radio waves are emitted from a huge building called Toa Hills. If you send a signal from a higher spot, you should be able to avoid the jamming. And of all the buildings in this city, there's one that just might work. And it's not far. A skyscraper called Toa Tower. It's a huge tower, a landmark of Toa City. That building is taller than Toa Hills, so you should be able to send a signal from there. Then, if we go there, we can call Future Foundation? If you already knew about this, why didn't you just use other adults? Why us? It's impossible for anyone here. Monokumas are patrolling outside, after all. But I've seen you two fight. You can beat those Monokumas and make it to the tower. But, but that Mole Man said he didn't want to rely on Future Foundation. I'm sure he'll understand. If Future Foundation comes, his people will be saved as well. Of course, I won't force you. No doubt about it. This will be a dangerous mission. I wish I could do it myself. To tell you the truth, I'm jealous of you two. I wish I had the power to protect people. Hey, Toko? I, I know. You want me to decide, right? Well, it's been decided. Even if a competent adult were to go, it'd be too dangerous. I want to go. What? Oh, nice. I know it's dangerous, but we found a way to survive up until now. So, 
I want to keep trying. Keep going forward. I understand how you feel, but maybe you should think this over. W what happened, Toko? Earlier you were telling me to stop hiding and fight back. N no, it's just... Well, I guess it's better than just rotting away here. When I think of it that way... Then... we are going? For now, we'll check it out. We'll see about contacting Future Foundation when we're there. Looks like you made your decision. Thank you so much. I'm grateful for your courage. <laughs> well, make sure you get plenty of rest today so you're prepared for tomorrow. Thank you. I'm finally starting to see some hope. Thanks to you, Shirakuma. Shirakuma, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, good for you. A tight and bouncy hug from a high school girl is priceless. real way to tell underground but still I feel refreshed I was able to get a really good night's sleep you're the only one who slept well how can you just fall asleep so fast like that okay then now I'll tell you how to get to Toa Tower after you climb the ladder go the opposite way you came from a little bit past that there will be a river follow the river and you'll find the tower doesn't sound like it's too far away. The, the problem isn't the distance. It's the Monokumas between here and there. Well, it's gonna be all right. I'm sure of it. Why do you say that? You have no reason to think that whatsoever. You're the reason, Toko. You might be worried for whatever reason, but with you around, there's no need to worry. <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, she's blushing. Just leave it to us. We'll definitely get a message off to Future Foundation. You two be careful. Have a safe trip. <laughs> 